So why healthcare stocks and why now? Well, the answer is pretty um, obvious. It's really that we always do need healthcare. Well, that's doctors, medicines, insurance, the lot we always need those services. And why did I mention interest rates in the title? Well, at this time, you know, when we're seeing those push, you know, higher and higher around the world, then it's, you know, affecting a lot of the stocks and sectors around the world and some outperform in these times more than others. And one of those because of its need all, you know, time doesn't matter what economic situation, healthcare is one of those and why did I pick healthcare against some of those other sectors that perform well in interest rates well, well they're a bit more volatile they've got a bit more momentum to them they're a solid sector anyway but they do offer you know better returns I think in the shortest to medium term than some of those other sectors so I'm going to take you through a short list of about I think it's about 40 odd different stocks and ETFs and I'm going to whittle that down to my 11 favorite stocks and throw in an ETF as well. We're going to have a little look at the sector as a whole and then I'm going to show you where you can get your hands on those stocks as well. So a lot to cover so let's get on with it. So let us first take a look at the healthcare sector as a whole. And in front of you, this is the US health sector. Pretty much the same throughout the world in style of performance, especially in those bigger economies, UK, Germany, you know, Japan, that sort of thing. Similar story. And the story is really over the last five to six years, we've seen some pretty decent growth, as you can see. And from the uh, percentages there, 125 percent over that period so pretty decent growth and as you can see now we sort of got this consolidation congestion zone around the top here we've seen that big covid run up probably helped by companies like moderna and pfizer and this yellow zone at just under 1500 looks a critical halt zone as what you could call double top or maybe even a head and shoulders type pattern and if that happens then these next yellow zones could be critical for the sector as a whole. So we've got this one at 61.8% on the Fibonacci line, very important Fib number there, just about 1300 and below that the 38.2% Fibonacci line, just under 1100. So hopefully, you know, if we're bullish on healthcare stocks, it can consolidate here and push on upwards. There's a huge amount of volume at this sort of price level, as you can see, then it fades off and really doesn't start building up again until you get to the 1100 area where you can see a lot of that price noise around before the covid sort of increase so interesting chart at the moment it has been very positive for many years in the healthcare sector and with the interest rates up as well we're looking for a push on upwards So in terms of an ETF, I looked at a few of them in even specific healthcare sectors, but I've plumped for this iShares Global Healthcare ETF, ticker IXJ, as you can see in the top left there, and it's a similar picture, even on a global scale, like I mentioned to the US healthcare stock sector. Anyway, we've got that correction consolidation, whatever you like to call it, Hopefully it can provide support there and then push on upwards. But in this ETF, as you can see, volume, huge amount down there. Worrying sort of sign for a possible move down there. So hopefully we can get, like I say, some support here and that market turn on round. But if you're interested in the sector as a whole, you don't want to get into the individual stocks, then something like this iShares Global Healthcare ETF could be something to take a look at. So the short list, well, there were 42 uh, symbols I looked at. Five of those were um, ETFs, but we'll quickly run through the list now for you that I took down to 11, which we'll look in a bit more detail in a minute. First up, we've got Vertex uh, Pharmaceuticals and United Health, 
Group, uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific, uh, Novo Nordisk, Molina, Eli Lilly, Danaher Corporation, Centene, Cigna, AstraZeneca, AbbVie, there's the iShares Global, Zotis, Zimmer Biomet, Waters Corporation, Virtus Investment, Vanguard Health, that's another ETF, Viva, Teladoc, Stryker, Sanofi, CGen, Roche, Pfizer, Novartis, Novacure, Merck, Medtronic, J&J, another ETF, iShares US Healthcare this time. Um, then we've got Intuitive Surgical, iShares US Medical Devices and iShares US Healthcare Providers, a couple of other ETFs, then GSK, GlaxoSmithKline, and then we've got Gilead Sciences, then Catalan, Bristol Myers Squibb, uh, Byrad, Baxter, Aventor, Abbott Labs, and Agent. So that's the list. Now let's dig in to my 11 favourite. So first up is Vertex Pharmaceuticals, a US global biotech company. I suppose their speciality is finding medicines and treatments for the underlying causes of cystic fibrosis like I said they operate all over the planet and in terms of stock price we can see a nice up move over the last few years trading above that 200 period moving average falling a bit flat around those all-time highs at 309 but if it can break on up there then 409 410 and the mid 400s could be the sort of short to medium term upside there for vertex so then we have thermo fisher scientific interesting bunch of these guys life sciences tools and services you know analytical instruments speciality diagnostics lab product services the lot us company 80,000 employees looking pretty uh, decent in terms of growth again trading above its 200 moving average just been on the down slide over 22 so potential buy and the dip opportunity got to get up back through those highs and that sort of um stagnant area in the sort of late 500s and then off on up to the late 800s 900s as a short to medium upside target and then we move on to our next uh, stock which is Novo Nordisk. They are a global pharmaceuticals company specializing in diabetes care. And in terms of stock price action, it's a similar story to the others. We've got a lot of this sideways action. If it can break on up through here, then we got the 122, 125 area in the mid 100s and then up into so about 170 as potential upside there for Novo Nordisk. So next up is United Health Group Incorporated, a monster healthcare provider and services company. You can see really steady growth. This is a nice solid stock, not as volatile as the, some of the others, but you know it's been performing very well if you can get through those highs again in the mid 500s then 700 and nearly 800 potential upside moves now Molina are another healthcare provider and services company from the states um, operate under the services of Medicaid and Medicare programs and offer all those supporting services like insurance um, etc and in terms of price action well if we just have a look at what's been going on it's been doing pretty well like the others too we've got this nice growth in the price trading above the 200 moving average in terms of upsides it's got to break those highs and then you know 470 480 and then off into the sort of 500s as potential upside there for Molina. Now Eli Lilly are more of a familiar name to most. They're a US drug manufacturing company. You know they're into the discovery, development, manufacturing, marketing of these pharmaceutical products across the 
globe and specialise in many many areas now again it's been performing quite nicely quite steadily a little pullback of late if it can get back through those highs in the early 300s then you know 430 440 and then to nearly 500 for potential targets there so Danaher Corporation from the States um, manufacturer market design uh, professional medical industrial and commercial products and services uh, they operate in three different segments life sciences diagnostics and environmental and applied solutions into all sorts of studies around in genes proteins metabolite cells so quite a diversified um, healthcare stock this one and we look at the price again trading very nicely above its 200 moving average as is a similar case with the rest of the stocks we've looked at we've seen this slight negative you know sideways consolidation zone key area around the mid 200s here as support for Danaher if it can stay above that then it's got to get through those highs in the um, early 300s and then we're looking at you know mid 400s to nearly 500 as potential upsides now the Centene Corporation multinational healthcare company providing services to government sponsored and commercial healthcare programs and they focus in on the underinsured and uninsured individuals give education and outreach programs to inform and assist members so a really interesting um, healthcare provider and services company Centene and you know as we look at the charts it's a similar story again trading consistently there or bouncing off that 200 moving average many times heading back towards it at the moment but this 61.8 Fibonacci line around 70 could be an interesting support point then it's got to bounce back up to near 100 and then we've got 130 and nearly 150 as potential upside targets so into the last three then we've got Cigna Corporation other healthcare provider and services corporation from the States they offer the usual like medical services but they focus in on dental insurance and related products and services so a slightly different edge there to the standard ones we've been looking at in that sort of area at the moment and in terms of price action it's been pretty decent on the up trading way above its 200 moving average hitting these highs just under 300 then it's got the mid 300s and then 400 as its next upside targets now over to the UK and we're going to look at AstraZeneca PLC now they can be traded on pretty much most of the major markets around the world you know in the US etc who are AstraZeneca well they are a massive pharmaceuticals um, company I've probably heard of them during the COVID period um, I think even I had their injection so there you go focused in on all sorts of areas oncology bio farm um, respiratory immunology rare diseases all sorts of different um, products and markets they are working their way in like I said they are massive in the UK Europe America's Af Asia Africa and Australia and in terms of price action maybe one of the weaker ones that we've looked at so far it does like to bounce off that 200 moving average it is heading towards it now maybe support around 50 55 to the downside we look for that bounce back it's got to get through that noise in the mid 60s break the highs of 70 before it can think of coming up into the late 80s as those upside target zones so our last stock is abv another us healthcare biotech uh, corporation engaged in the research development manufacturing commercialization and sale of medicines and therapies across a whole spectrum of areas immunology um, you know, all sorts like I said some really interesting stuff they are um, 
producing and in terms of stock price it's been a sad year in 2022 but hoping that that 61.8 Fibonacci line around the 130 area is the support then we would look to see if those highs can be beaten around 175 and then it's up to 220 sort of area and then to the mid 200s for you know potential short to medium term upside where and how can you trade these stocks i've got this great broker called tiger brokers i'll put a link to them in the description below that allow you to trade internationally so that means we can get into stocks from the uk us australia so some of the, and others like hong kong china and more but what it means is those stocks that we've looked at like your astrazeneca's from the uk we can trade them easily all from one platform and then jump over to the us and trade those so if we just looked say for centene we type it in the top um there it is and what's more interesting up the top left there we can trade options as well so it opens up a whole new ball game for us in terms of ideas and if we look for astra uh, zeneca there we go you can see azn the ticker and the other markets that you can trade it on and there you go once again there's a zn that's the us one and we can get some options on that too so tiger brokers really great platform for um, trading these healthcare stocks so there you go there's my 11 healthcare stock favorites and an etf to get you started and thinking about whether you want to invest trade those you know stocks at the moment with the current economic situation we're in let me know in those comments below whether you agree disagree with my selection what would you have added what you have taken away love to hear your thoughts there and if you've liked today's video please please hit the like button and the subs and bell buttons all that helps the channel going forwards and be much appreciated so all that's left for me now to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading i'll see you in the next video